I knew I was in dire shape when they when they put me on the on the cart and brought me into the trainer room. Uh, my senior year in, in college football or science, and uh, I stepped across the line like I did a hundred times before. Um, my entire 16 year football career. I'd had a whole lot of injuries before, but this time I, I stepped across the line, I took the hit. And when I took the hit, I knew some, I knew it was a big hit. I knew that there was something wrong, but I was, my adrenaline was so into the game. I was still in the game. I was still the defensive end of the game. When we look back on the scout film and I take the hit and I'm walking with my hands. And at that point, at that point I knew something was, was terribly wrong. One of the trainers is doing the pinwheel test on my lower leg to check for, for sensory function. I, I couldn't feel the, the, I knew that she was back there about to do it, but the look on my mentor, the trainer's face, I just won't forget it. You could, you could see the panic in her face. When it came to the re reality that I was paralyzed and that I may not walk again, is, is when there was just a total shift in, in my consciousness. I mean, I went from being uh, 21, 6'2", 250 pounds, captain of the football team, small college All-American, uh, private college All-American, sack leader, all the things that I felt defined me. All, all of that, all the things I've worked up to my 16-year football career that made me feel like that's who I was, all went away, just shattered in an instant. And as that, that was the realization, the paralysis was bad. But, but what was happening in my head was, what did it mean that was left with me? What, what was left with me? I'm, at, I'm at not only at the bottom, but I've gone so far behind and below what I thought the bottom of, the, of my life was about, that my whole entire identity was just shaken to its core. I mean, I always thought I was going to be either a cosmetic surgeon or an orthopedic surgeon. And um, I still hold those, those professions in, in very high regard. I could not see myself doing anything other than what I'm doing right now. It's my emotional paycheck. I mean, it's, it's, it's a priceless feeling that I, I can't wait to get into the office and see that, that, that patient. I love being a chiropractor. I'm great at being a chiropractor. And it's, it's part of who I am. It's not, I don't punch a clock at nine and then punch out at six o'clock and become something else. It's just, it's who I am, year round.